gets in that scalp, it gets it clean, gets it in there, you know, gets that scalp clean and whatnot. Hey y'all, so as requested, this is a wash, hair wash video. So, yeah. There's a huge fly in here. Oh, ah! Take two. <laughs> so, we're gonna be doing a hair wash video today. And I wanted to start off by telling you guys what I use for my um, shampooing my hair. So, I used to use the, like I only used the um, Sister Lock shampoo when I first got my locks. And then when I ran out of that, I didn't buy any more. I used like a tea tree shampoo then, and then that was kind of drying out my scalp. So, I just have kind of played around and just tried to see what works for me. Um, I also noticed like eating. Oh my God, y'all, I am under attack. They left the front door open and there is a huge horse fly. Okay, sorry. Um, when I eat healthy, like avocados, I don't, I haven't been eating meat for about two months now. Um, but I've been eating a lot of vegetable fruits and vegetables and stuff and my scalp still gets dry But it doesn't get nearly as dry as it it does when I know when I don't eat vegetables and drink lots of water um, Avocado especially because that's like a natural, you know natural oils and I lotion up with grapeseed oil And I put like whatever's left on my hands when I put on my face like I rub back into my hairline But I do not put like anything in my hair, you know the shampoo that I use is lush um, it's a Lush shampoo bar and it's called Honey I Wash My Hair. Now, I have tried a couple. At Lush, you can like try the products and take them back if they don't work for you. So I have tried a couple and this bar I have used over and over and over and over and over. Like This is probably like my third bar. So And they last you a while. So it's like $10.95. But um, And you'd be like, oh my god, I'm not paying that much for some shampoo. Well, some people will. I don't know. But... That is supposed to be like 80 washes. And so if you happen to go get it at Lush, they'll sell you the round Lush container. Don't get it for the round thing. Like the whole bar just sticks in there. Get the square container. It's real cute too. It's real cute. Boot. So, yeah, all right, well, I'll show you guys um, how I use this bar and what my new wash routine looks like. Stay tuned. Okay. So, the first step before I shampoo my hair is I detangle it and run my fingers through and separate any of those little caught hairs or whatever, or if you curled your hair recently, separate it. And then, and like I separate my hair though, so kind of like a part down the middle, take two ponytail. You can do like two or four, whatever. And also, so I moved, I'm in a different location as you guys know, um, doing my bus thing. But the water pressure, if the water pressure is different, it really helps to separate your hair to make sure that you get it all the way clean. Cause like if you don't have good pressure, you can. I had one time where I washed my hair and there was like some soap residue stuck and it makes your hair look dirty when it's really just clean and it's just soap. So separating it really helps no matter how long, like even if your hair is still locked, it's kind of just like a better, I think personally, it gets you, you know, it gets in that scalp, it gets it clean, gets it in there. You know, gets that scalp clean and whatnot. Just separate your hair, however, and then once you're actually washing it, you can even part it more. And with the shampoo bar, you'll see. So, okay.
So really quick, my phone, um, while I was recording the my hair, shampooing my hair, my phone was like, We're two minutes, you're out of space. So I had to clear my phone and um, that was like two weeks ago. So uh, I'm washing my hair, I just washed it again. Um, the lighting was horrible so I couldn't, that, there was no point, and I broke my tripod. You know, all kinds of shit happened, all right? And the girl was just trying to wash her hair. I just did a crazy workout. I was just trying to wash my freaking hair and record it. So after I finished washing my hair, I wrap it up in a t-shirt and I, um, it keeps it not, it doesn't make it fuzzy. Um, and it soaks up most of the, all of the moisture. I mean, like it, when you towel dry it, you know, it'll still be dripping and whatnot. Like this, I feel like soaks it up really well. So, um, yeah, I just leave a t-shirt on until I'm done greasing up. And I grease up with grapeseed oil. What, what, use that on your skin, ladies. You're gonna be glowing. Oh my, I need to put some oil on right now. I'm looking kind of dry. I leave this on my hair. This is pretty much it for a hair wash tutorial. Well, updated hair wash video. You know, some basic shit. Some real shit happened. <laughs> Make it sound like this was real gangster washing my hair. I did get real irritated, but hey, I figured out another solution. Alright, y'all. Peace.